So in our last video, we talked about the basics of what a workspace is. I, I, I admittedly am just kind of skimming over it because right now I just need you to understand that your workspace can be set and that it has panels um, on it. And the positioning of the panels is what creates your workspace. As far as the panels go, I would like you to know how to launch panels individually. And we talked about that in the previous video. If you go to the window menu, you can open up any panel that you want. You can click and open all of them. They get docked or grouped into like panels. And so if I look over here where it says color and swatches, those are grouped together as well as layers, channels, and paths. If you wanted to undock them, you could click the little tab and you can drag out and it will open the panel. At the bottom of the panel, if you hover over it, you could always make it bigger. I hate when I see a little scroll bar. It makes me feel like I'm missing out on something. And so I always kind of make them a little bit bigger. If you undock them, you could redock them or re-nest them. And you can do that by clicking the bar at the top of your panel and dragging it close to where you want it to go. And see the little blue bar? It will indicate where it's going to go. And so this is not going to re-nest because they're not going to be tabs that are next to each other, but they would stack and they would be stacked panels, so you could reposition them if you wanted to. If you grab, instead of grabbing the bar at the top, if you grab the little tab and you hover over next to another little tab, you can nest them together and you can reposition the panels wherever you want them to be. And so if you really wanted to create a true custom workspace, you could put the channels at the bottom and you could group layers and paths together you could move property to the bottom and you could really set it up the way that you would want to use your workspace and then go to the window menu choose workspace and create a new workspace just like we did in the previous video so in addition to panels uh, chapter 6 talks about presets if you go to the Photoshop menu and choose preferences there are a number of preferences and presets that you can set for this chapter um, I'm not going to click through them because we will cover them in detail at the end of the semester in an entire chapter called Preferences. Uh, when you talk about the presets in Chapter 6, make sure that you pay careful attention to the specific presets that Chapter 6 is outlining because I'm not going to cover them in my video. Um, there are questions on your Chapter 6 knowledge test that come directly from the reading and I want to make sure that you are doing that reading. Okay, I haven't said this in a few videos, but if you have any questions at any time during the semester, please contact me either via Canvas or at the email address listed on the course syllabus, unless I'm not your teacher, and then if I'm not your teacher, contact your teacher in their preferred, uh, in his or her preferred contact or communication method.